Have you ever considered that your mouldy slice of bread or your rotting banana is actually killing the planet? Every year in the UK, we throw away around 10 million tonnes of food. And that, believe it or not, has got a massive climate impact. If you think about all the energy and the time and the water that goes into producing that loaf of bread or that rotten banana, only for it to go into the bin, it adds up to millions of tonnes of carbon emissions that are for nothing, really. Now, most of the food in the UK is wasted in households, but there's a significant chunk of it that comes from the farm. The good news is there are some companies working to try and change this. We headed down to DGM Growers in Lincolnshire to find out more. Hi, I'm Brian Reid. I'm the growing manager here at DGM Growers. I've been here 21 years, growing chicory, Swiss chard and courgettes. Depending on which crop, we're growing them uh, on the field scale, um, such as courgettes. Uh, and chicory is grown firstly in the field and then it's forced hydroponically in dark growing rooms. Chicory is a specialist and notoriously tricky vegetable to grow. Supermarkets want chicory buds to arrive in a perfect cone shape, but it doesn't always play ball, especially early in the season. If a bud is open too far, supermarkets will reject it. We're growing vegetables for human consumption, for nutrition. Vegetable is an important part of of the diet. Uh, it needs to be an increasing part of the diet. So primarily we want 100% yeah, of the crop to, to go for human consumption, but obviously we're realistic that um, that sometimes isn't the case. So we just try and maximize it as much as possible. DGM Growers is also a big producer of celeriac. But even though this vegetable is known among growers as the ugly one, it can still fall foul of supermarket standards. If it's too big, there's too much of it, or it's just too, well, ugly, it can't go to stores. Lucky rejects will get picked up by restaurants, and lucky ones are fed to cattle. It can, for example, on courgettes, be as much as 20% uh, at certain times. They, they might just be a little bit, a little bit curved or odd-shaped, um, have scarring. In this part of the world, we have a lot of uh, wind, where the, the fruit uh, touches the stem. It being spiny, it, it produces scarring. Um, perfectly edible, perfectly nutritious and, and good to eat. Oddbox started in 2016 with a mission to rescue wonky veg from farms and get its people's dinner plates. From a small start in South London, it now delivers wonky veg boxes across the country. It's been working with DGM growers for a few years now, scooping up rejected celeriacs, chicory and courgettes from the farm and getting them onto people's dinner plates. My name is Deepak. I'm one of the founders at Oddbox uh, and we are a impact-led business fighting food waste at farms. And the way we do that is by working directly with growers to rescue odd-shaped produce or surplus produce and then delivering them directly to customers in a weekly subscription box format. About 20 to 40% of all the produce that is grown in the country doesn't even reach supermarket shelves. So these, um, these are absolutely fit for human consumption. I think it's important to, to tackle the problem of food waste because food waste is a huge contributor to climate change. In fact, at food waste for a country, it's the third largest country after the US and China in terms of contribution to greenhouse gases. What's happening is we're not just wasting the end product, we're not wasting a, a 20p apple or a, or a courgette, we are essentially wasting all those resources that went into producing that produce. So it takes about 100 litres of water to grow a kilo of bananas, that's about eight bananas. And then 100 litres of water, and then we spend all that energy transporting it all the way from South America, storing it, ripening it, and then delivering it to people's doors. And all of that essentially is causing the climate change as well. So on one hand, you have wasting food at a farm level. On the other hand, we have food poverty. There are you know, one in four school children don't have enough fresh produce available in their lives, which is quite a shame if you think about it, that, that this happens in the UK, where we, we waste a lot of food because of specifications and surplus in the system, but we still have a lot of mouths to feed. So food, in fact, solving the problem of food waste could solve a number of problems, including food poverty. 